Over the last couple of years, I've realized that there are a shocking number of specific things that I don't know about how the US government works. I mean, I know about the three branches of government and vaguely what each one does, but when it comes down to the nitty gritty, there are just so many things I don't know. And so I thought to myself, maybe there are a whole bunch of people who are in the same boat as me. And so I said to myself, let's find out this stuff and share it with people who need it. I decided to start with one of the most basic things a person should know when living in a democracy. When in the world do elections actually happen? And what positions are we voting for? You would think there would be public service announcements and signs everywhere telling people the exact dates of upcoming elections, but I don't recall ever hearing or seeing anything like that, at least not where I live. Maybe it's different in different places. You'd think this would be something that should be widely advertised. But since it's not, I guess we'll have to find out ourselves. Before we get down to business, this video is going to cover federal, aka national elections, that happen all over the US, and not state and local elections. But just so you know, state and local elections often happen at the same time as federal elections, though they can happen at any time of the year. Oh, and as you can see here, I will be putting the sources of my information throughout the video and in the description with the full links so you can check to see if I'm getting things right or if you want to do additional research yourself. To help you orient the old noggin and hopefully make it easier to remember the impending info dump, Here's an outline of the video. Section 1 will be on when federal elections happen and who you are voting for. As a preview, every two years, always the House of Reps, usually the Senate, and sometimes the Pres. Section 2 will be on the two types of elections, which are primary and general. Federal elections happen every two years, on even years. In federal elections, you will vote for at least one and sometimes all of the following offices. Members of Congress, which are House of Representatives and the Senate, and the President slash Vice President. But all of these offices have different links years of service, so you won't always be voting for them all at the same time, though sometimes you will. In each federal election, you will always be voting for representatives to the House of Representatives because all 435 of them are up for election every two years. In most federal elections, you will vote for senators. This is a wee bit complicated, so bear with me. Senators serve for six-year terms, but their terms are staggered. So you will never be voting for all 100 senators in one election. In each federal election, around one-third of the 100 senators are up for election. The senators are split into three classes. Classes 1 and 2 have 33 senators, and class 3 has 34. Each two years, one of the classes will be up for election. Each state gets two senators, and the senators for each state are always in different classes. So you will never be voting for two senators at the same time. The way it works out is that a state will have at least two elections in a row when they vote for a senator, and then a third election when they won't. And then the cycle starts over again. Two elections on, one off. You can check which classes your state senators are in and which years they will be up for election by going to the various senate.gov websites below or by looking at this handy dandy chart from the Wikipedia link, which makes it easier to understand. Finally, you will sometimes be voting for the president slash vice president, and this happens every four years. These are always on even years, which are divisible by four. So 2020, 2024, 2028, 2032, etc. Election years when you vote for the president are called presidential election years. But since federal elections happen every two years, every other election happens in the middle of a president's four-year term of office. And these elections are called midterm elections. So in midterm elections, you will only be voting for representatives and maybe a senator. Each federal election is split in two. First, there is a primary election, and then there is a general election, but they always happen in the same year. 
In a primary election, you do not pick a final candidate to fill an office. The purpose of primaries is to pick the top candidates from each political party, who will then go up against each other in the general election, which picks the one winning candidate. Who you can vote for in a primary election varies from state to state. In some states, you have to be a member of a political party in order to even vote. And you can only vote for a candidate in your political party. In other states, you can vote for candidates in any political party. And there are several more variations on who and how you can vote. To find out which system your state uses, you can go to this link from the National Conference of State Legislatures. Unfortunately, the exact date that primary elections happen also varies from state to state. In 2020, the earliest primary happened in February, 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 whatever, and the latest happened in August. I couldn't find a simple source that listed the specific dates of primary elections for each state for all time going forward, but you can go to usa.gov slash election office and choose your state, and it will take you to your state's election website. And you should be able to find when your state's primaries are, along with other important info. You can also go to Ballotpedia.org elections calendar, and you can click on the picture of your state, and it has a lot of information about all kinds of elections, who is running and when, but it won't be about primaries only. After primary elections are completed, the general election happens. In this election, the final candidates are chosen for each office. Unlike primaries, the general election happens on the same date across the country by federal law since 1845. General elections are always held on the first Tuesday after the first Monday of November. So the exact date will change from year to year, but it will always be between November 2nd and November 8th. In 2020, the general election will be on November 3rd. Another difference between primary and general elections is that in a general election, you don't have to be a member of any political party in order to vote. And if you are a member of a political party, you can vote for a candidate in your own party or in another party or for an independent candidate. And last but not least, in order to vote in any election, you need to be registered to vote in your state. I will be making another video on how to register to vote and how to check if you're still registered to vote because states are allowed to remove voters from their lists if they have not voted for a certain number of years. Now let's do a quick recap to try and solidify the information in the old noggin. This video was about federal elections rather than state or local elections. Section 1 was about when elections happen and who you're voting for. They happen every two years on even years. You always vote for representatives to the House of Representatives. You most of the time vote for a senator, and sometimes you vote for the president and vice president. Section two was about the two types of elections. There are primary elections and general elections. Primary elections, you're voting for the top candidates who will then go against each other in the general election to pick the one candidate who will take office. Make sure to take a look at the links in the descriptions to take you to the important websites. And finally, thanks for the company.